Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Today we will talk about the Okta XSO setup. So in previous video, I show you that how you can configure the um, XSO using the XSO circle. That's the steps uh, we are going to use the same, almost pretty much same steps, but uh, I will do this time the Okta. Okta have a little bit tweak, so I hope you guys like my video. So please be in touch and uh, see how we are, how I am configuring that Okta. XSO in my service now instance. To integrate and to use this XSO circle to opt up to service now, you need uh, two instances. One is the service now developer instance I got from free of cost. You can get uh, developers.servicenow.com and get this instance. Secondly, you need to collect a Okta instance. You can visit the developers.okta.com and then from there uh, you can get a free Okta instance. So you need to do these two steps to get uh, uh, complete your Okta and ServiceNow SSO. And now uh, if you see this is my Okta um, uh, dashboard and here is the two user. If I click the user, so you can see that there is four user is available into my system and uh, these three user are actually activated. Now, what do you have to do? The second steps or the steps we have to do, make sure that this user, this user ID actually, the email address should have present to your actually in systems. For example, in my case, my email address is the rohitcd at the yahoo.com. This email address I have set in my profile into the service now. You can see this email address is set up in my profile. Okay. So that is the one steps you have to set up. Now you have to go to the Okta and then the application, you have to click the application. Once you click the application, you can see that all the available application that you have installed for this Okta uh, profile. You can see the three application is right now installed. We have to type, click the browse app catalog and then in that page, you will be able to see all these applications uh, related to the Okta, to the integration application. Now you have to type the service now here and uh, once you type the service now there are many applications but our case is this is the one the second one we have to select this application and click add sign. Once you click the add sign here is the application name that is they are asking for we can in this application name, we can put any application. We'll put that service now dev application. And here we need to put the application URL. Go to the service now, copy this your URL and paste here. Make sure you remove the uh, that slash and then click next. Once you click next, you are in the single sign on options mode. What you have to do, you have to select the SAML 2.0, these options and then uh, just click done. Once you click the done, your single sign on for this uh, Okta site is configured. Now you have to configure from the um, service now site. To configure that, if you go back to these applications, you can go again by clicking the service, uh, this application. You can see your service now dev application is installed. Click on that and go to the single sign on tabs. And there is a documentation you can click and you can go through this documentation which tells you that how you can configure your um, service now application now i have to go to the service now application this is my service now applications and in this application i'm going to install the sso for that what do you have to do you have to go to the plugins module here and from the plugins module you need to be install that uh, identity provider sso so let's go to the plugins and search the SSO here and if you scroll down uh, there is one module called um, integration multi-provider single sign-on enhance this application you need to be installed in my case I have already uh, installed this uh, application because I showed the multiple times the demo so what you have to do you have to type the SSO in the left navigations and you will be able to see uh, these um, uh, multi-provider SSO applications after you install the plugins. So after you install, make sure you refresh and you will be able to see this module. Now you have to click the identity provider, this module. And there, there is no identity pro provider for me right now. 
what do you have to do? We have to click a new sign. If you have any identity provider by default by service now, that's fine. Um, there is no issues on that. You have to click the new and then you have to select the sign. The same steps we actually perform uh, for our uh, SSO circle. Now we have we need the URL. So who will provide the URL? This URL will be provided by the actual uh, service provider, SSO IDP service provider. So our case is the service provider is nothing but a octa. So we'll go to this documentation and if you scroll down, there will be a auto generated URL for you. Copy that URL and go back to the identity provider and paste that URL and simply click import. Once you click the import, you will be able to see uh, these whole uh, data information. Now what you have to do, you have to save these applications. So once all this information is populated, make sure that there is a one certificate and that certificate expiry date is some future date. Okay. So once you validated that all this information is correct, um, if this all the information is correct right now, uh, now we can see what we are going to do here. We are going to um, Okta and going to the application again and open the ServiceNow application. Here in the ServiceNow application, we need to assign the particular user. So what we'll do, we'll click here, assign and make sure you assign yourself uh, for the testing. So you just assign yourself and click done. Now simply log out from the system from the Okta and now go back to your service now instance and click test connection. Once you click the test connection, it will redirect you to that single sign in page where you need to put your credential. So you put your credential and click sign in. Once you click the sign in, you can see uh, there is a one uh, SSO testing page is available and it is saying that uh, all this uh, login is successful all the steps. If any steps failure, it won't allow you to activate. These steps are failure because this is the additional steps for SSO logout. If you want, you can configure. Otherwise, you just skip that. So if you want to configure the logout script, you need to simply go to the, here and generate a metadata. Um, and from that, you need to the, put the certificate into the Okta. We'll do that if you need later, we'll do that. Now you need to simply click active. So once you click the active, you can see by default, this is activated right now. And simply you need to save that. Once it is saved that, you make sure you click the default. And then um, if you want to do the single sign on uh, automatically redirect, like whenever you put your URL, it should automatically redirect. So you set as auto redirect IDP. Once you click that, the set auto redirect IDP will be selected on that uh, top checkbox. So this is checkbox is checked. Once your all the configuration is done, make sure you go to this properties module and then you enable this single sign on. Otherwise, this complete module is right now disabled. You need to be enabled. And once you enable that application, this property is updated. It means that uh, your profile is now multi SSO configured. Now the instance itself is multi SSO configured. Now log out and make sure you set your personal uh, like local username and password in case that SSO fail, you might need that credential. So now simply log out from this instance and then uh, just replace that and hit enter. You can see it's automatically redirected in me and then auto login. I don't need to put any credential. Okay. So uh, that's the thing. Uh, I think uh, that's the way you need to configure all those stuff. So if you guys have any question, please let me know in my comment sections. And if you like my video, please do like, share and comments. Uh, also, there are a few things in, uh, we'll discuss in later part. There is a user provisioning available into the Okta site so that if the user is not available um, or the, if the group is created in the Okta site, we can directly send to that service now without any um, development from the service now side will i'll cover that part in the next video um i hope guys you like that so that's it for today thank you very much have a great day